Greetings from the Albany Tulip Festival in Albany, New York. And welcome to Washington Park. Now this is a premier event. It draws over 80,000 people coming to celebrate the welcoming of spring and tulips galore. Now the tulips are open, it's springtime, everyone is smiling, dressed in their finest, and taking pictures everywhere. And there's so much beauty to be seen. I'll only be able to show you a few of the tulip beds, but there are over 100,000 tulips blooming. If you like purple, color of royalty, this one is for you. Now we are thankful that winter is behind us, but don't these look like puffs of snowballs? The white tulips. Now it was on July 1st of 1948 that the tulip was declared the official flower of Albany. And there has been a festival running ever since. <laughs> you can vote for your favorite tulip, by the way, as if you could only pick just one with over a hundred thousand blooming and still blooming. That's another great thing. They've strategically planted flowers so that if you come to the park this week, come to the park next week, you're still likely to see a tulip in bloom because not every tulip blooms at the same exact day. So if you're voting for your favorite tulip, you may want to come into the park more than once. Now what I was talking about is tulips come in every single color that you could imagine and there are hybrids and tulips have been crossbred to have different shades. There could be three colors in one tulip. But there is a specific color that really signifies New York. And that would be the orange wonder. And that was the tulip that Queen Wilhelmina declared for Albany. It was a request though for her to designate a specific flower within the tulip family and she did choose the orange wonder which is an 18 inch tall tulip that is orange shaded with scarlet. So it's not this particular one but we're talking flowers in the orange family. Scarlet would be in the center. Here's some really tall tulips. You can see the height is different for the different families of tulips. The parrot tulip has nothing to do with the actual bird, it is the name. But here are the ones that I was saying as I was walking over. Look at the height of these tulips. Hey, I'm trying to fix it. Look at this. Now Albany is the capital city for the state of New York. 
about 150 miles from New York City, the island of Manhattan. Now this event in Washington Park is completely free. There is no admission to come into this beautiful park and to see all of these flowers. And there are tents lined up. Let's walk you over there. It's also a food experience and a shopping experience. It's sort of like a flea market on one side, a concert on the other, a flower garden, of course, is our focal, a picnic area. But you really could spend the whole day just walking around the park. But keep in mind, you do want to spend some time to just stop and really appreciate these beautiful flowers and the fact that spring is here. So don't plan on stopping by for just one hour is my final on that one. There's a concert stage back here. You'll see international acts, you'll see local acts. Politicians will come out. And that'll run until about 5 p.m. And again, when the concerts are happening, there is absolutely no additional fee. You do not need a wristband to come up here. And there's enough space for everyone. And this event has drawn up to 80,000 people. So that's a lot of space needed. So you can see that the Albany Tulip Festival has expanded way beyond tulips. The tulips may have been the first thought, but it's a food experience, a music experience, it's Mother's Day weekend, mothers are honored today. Okay, let's get ourselves back over to the tulips. There is the flag of Albany hanging, flying in the air right next to the flag of the United States of America. The Albany flag is the one with the orange, the blue, and the white. Looks more like Arthur. So hopefully this gives you an idea that this is a big event, a free event, a lot of walking, a great time outdoors, a celebration of flowers, and a celebration of springtime. Now new tulip bulbs are sent over annually from the Kingdom of the Netherlands to continue this beautiful display. And we thank them for that. There are other parts of the festival that take place outside of the park, including the scrubbing of the streets. A Dutch tradition before starting a festival. And that's just a quick glimpse.